And it's very, very important, one to appreciate the potential of the other industry, and also appreciate the role of government and private sector and how it is coordinated. I think it is very, very critical for this government that all government incentives, interventions, are properly targeted and coordinated so that they can have the, the required results. It's across the value chain, is it from all the way from animal breeding to the, to the export market. As government, we are looking at it, what is it that requires to be done so that we can unlock that potential? And definitely, if we are able to unlock that potential, become a competitive manufacturing country, we will be able to grow our exports. More so, we will be able to reduce our dependence on imported other products, not because we are going to stop them, but because our products will be more competitive than them and we do not have a market. So the approach here is what we need to do to unlock the potential. And is it policy development? I think currently we have just finished the development of the other policy that will guide the industry's development. We are working on the legal issues, both at production and also at manufacturing, so that we have an environment, a, a legal and a policy framework uh, that encourages manufacturing. We have a huge uh, raw material base that we can be converted to a very competitive industry that can be able to drive exports. And one of the key things here is we have to appreciate the number, of the market currently, if you look at the number of our school cho going children, if you look at our security forces, at our factory workers, if we are able to convert that one to ready markets and they start buying rockery, the industry will grow. At the export scene, we are looking at our competitiveness in terms of travel goods. We need to work on that and make them more, make them more, uh, more competitive, meet the international standards, product, uh, product standards and requirements, and that way we have a sustainable other industry that consumes our hinds and skins for the better of everybody in the country. Thank you. The other value chain is quite strong, and there are really real business opportunities right from trade, correction and uh, preservation of hides and skins to sell the market. That's the raw end so sort of a business opportunity. Then we have the aspect of leather processing, making, turning the raw materials into leather, and then we have the final product of making leather products. Along that value chain, we have uh, secondary uh, industries that are also very, very lucrative. We have factories that, they, we have manufacturers of chemicals that are required in the tannery. We have machinery and equipment. We need to be, you know, we, ha we have to be conscious of the technology. So all that, our opportunities that our people can take, our, even in our universities can take up as research in terms of engineering and technology upgradation, and everybody have a role to play in it. And finally, all of us are consumers. We want pro pro uh, better products. So we are looking at quality products that are manufactured rockery, properly branded, properly packaged, so that they can fit in the market. Thank you.